All right, here we are. We are a one-man army. Let's go ahead in three, two, one, fire! Hey guys, this is Pura DJ's Fire, and welcome back to Ancient Warfare 2. Now today, we are checking out some of the awesome new units, and we're gonna put them up against each other in the open custom battle editor. So let's see which one will be victorious. All right, so this is 40 versus 40 of the new cannon, guys. Let's see where they're gonna fire. I'm very curious to see if they're all gonna fire at the same guy, or all at their own little opponent, I guess. Except that there's not a whole lot happening anyway now. Why are you not shooting? Do something! What the- Oh! Wait! Here they go! Yes! They had- They needed to think a little bit about that. It took them some time to figure out that target, but here we go! They're firing already! <laughs> Look at this! They're firing their little cannonballs at each other! This is fantastic! Now the cannon guy, they seem to be very powerful against like, turrets and whatnot. Especially since they can actually move those things. They have little wheels here there, and they can move forward, of course. They're in range now, so they don't have to. But this is fantastic. Look at this whole line of them. Now, to be completely honest with you, I thought they were going to do a little bit more damage. I mean, this is actually a pretty long-lasting fight. But it looks like the red guys. Look at that. You can see it in, the, in the, like, the top bar. It says 28 versus 17. Okay, 27 now. But still, there's a huge advantage for the red team. Look at these guys. All right, Johnny, I want you to take them all out on your own. I know you've got a lot of teammates to support you, but I want you to do it, okay? Come on. Make a nice headshot. Let's let's follow where he shoots it. Go! Okay, that was a miss, Johnny. What the hell were you thinking? You can't fire this thing, but move away. Move away. Let me do it. Yes, let's go first person. Here we go. <laughs> now I am the one who plays. Now for this video, I want to do it in a totally accurate battle simulator style. So we're gonna be the spectators and we're gonna see what these units are capable of. Now it looks like the red team has one. And we're gonna move on to the next battle. Now another very cool new unit is called the Mortar. This guy has an absolutely Ridiculous amount of range, so let's get 20 of them. Wait, what is this? How are, how are they bunched up like that? Okay, anyway, but we're gonna put them in a line and kind of separate them. There we go. So I'm gonna put down 40 of these guys, and I, I guess I can put them in front of each other because they're gonna fire all the way up, as we saw in the last video, and that's so cool. I mean, these guys deal some serious damage. So let's go ahead over to the blue team, do the exact same thing. This is the one thing that I don't like about this game. Like, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but the rotating. Takes so freaking long, but anyway, here we go, there's 40 on either side. Let's go ahead and see what happens up in the sky when these mortars start to fire away. Alright, let's smash that ginormous play button, let's go all the way up. Okay, this, whoa, that's a little bit too, holy crap, how did they move so fast? Oh, you can actually see the little clouds, that's cool. Okay, anyway, let's move down here, because I need a good view of both teams, because I think both of these are gonna fire all the way up. Yes, here we go, you can see that. Look at that, they fire, whoa, that's so high, holy crap, look at this, and now they fire, <laughs> oh, this is amazing, look at this, oh, and there's a few hitting each other, oh, but wait, let's go down, let's go down and see the impact, oh my, yes, look at this, that's a lot of damage, all right, that's a hell of a lot more damage than the cannons, and the blue guys actually won. How in the world did 12 of these guys survive that? There a guy flying up in the air here. Buddy, what are you doing up there in the air? You should be down there firing your <laughs> little mortar thing. Oh, no. Now, that was so cool. I want to make it a little bit more special. I want to grab... Oh, crap. I moved something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 20 more of these guys over here. Like, and space them out a little bit more. Just like that. And I put down 40 of these. Now, I mean, this is going to be... Wait, 100? It should be... What? How much is 40 plus 40? I'm pretty sure that's 80, game. What are you doing? Okay, it resets to 80. So let's go ahead and twist this one as well. Now we're gonna have a lot of mortars going up in the air. And I think they're all gonna clash in the center. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. This is gonna take a while to prepare though, I think. Please don't crash though. Please don't. No. No. Oh boy, it's not responding. It's not responding. Oh no. Oh no. Game, please don't crash on me. Come on. I want you to live. Yes. There we go! Alright, let's click it. Here we go, let's go all the way up. I mean, we saw how high these go, right? We need a good vantage point, here we go. So that's gonna be red versus blue, and red versus blue. Now, I don't know if they're all gonna fire in the center, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. Look at this, are they all gonna clash? No, wait, they're gonna shoot off to the sides, oh no, oh no. Oh, my whole plan has failed miserably. Instead, we just got two times what we already saw. Oh, no. Now, another one of my favorite units was the hand cannon. This guy's literally carrying a hand cannon. Now, what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna fire a hand cannon ourselves. Okay, we're gonna go to here, choose equipment, 
And this is us, okay? We can wield a sword and a shield, which we have been doing in the last couple of videos. But what we can also do is distance. I mean, we have a bow, a crossbow, and of course the hand cannon. There's also a sling, a weapon, bow with a flame and poison, and there's all kinds of things. But of course, we are gonna go with the hand cannon. We can even fire our own ally cannon. Yes, we can actually fire the cannon. But first, let's go ahead and grab the hand cannon. As well as a whole bunch of super heavy armor. And I'm gonna sit on an elephant. We're gonna ride an elephant ourselves, okay? We're gonna put them up against, I don't know, like a whole bunch of elephants. Alright, let's put these guys right over here. Now, it's, it's a gray field with gray elephants, okay? But it's gonna be fine. Let's prepare this. A beautiful battle. Oh crap, wait, wait, stop, stop, don't do anything. Stop. Okay, now what I forgot to do was place my player unit over here. So let's go ahead and put this guy right over here. So this is us. We are on an elephant. We are heavily armored. And of course, we've got a hand cannon just like these guys. So we've got a whole row of these guys. Some are kind of inside the tree. That's totally fine because we have got a pretty nice lineup of enemies to fire at. Okay, I see an elephant butt now. Okay, here we go. We are on the elephant, I think. This is it! I, I can't see crap! How do I go in first person? Oh, okay, I can see the helmet! Oh my god, it's so laggy though! There's so much going on, it's just too much! Okay, let's fire at this guy! What?! Did I get one shot by the- No way! I'm on an- <laughs> I have got the heaviest armor in the game! And the best mount! The big fat elephant! And I still die with one shot! How is that- Oh my god! Wait, do we still win though? <laughs> They didn't even need me! Okay, let's go ahead. This time I'm ready for the battle. Let's fire! Did that do anything? I didn't even see like a little peel going out. What the hell is this? It's reloading now. So let's go ahead and charge up to- Okay, that guy's dead. What? what? What the hell happened? Okay, let's go over to this guy. Shoot him! Did that do at- Oh! Do we shoot him? I think so. He's still alive though, so he didn't do a great job, but still. I think we shot- Yes, there we go, we won again! Now we're back in our choose equipment overview and I'm gonna go with a siege weapon. We've got the ballista, the catapult, a, a flame ballista, I guess, a hawacha kind of a thing, a mortar even, but of course I wanna check out the cannon because I guess, yes, that's the most powerful, I think. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's place our player unit right over here and all look at that. We are already, actually let's get a close-up view, we are already mounted on the cannon. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. So now we need a few peasants to fire at. I guess we're gonna go for Santa. I mean, this guy is not very powerful, I don't think. So let's go ahead and place like 20 of them in like a nice little square this way. I can really fire at him, okay? Alright, here we are. We are a one-man army. Let's go ahead in three, two, one, fire! 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 Do hello? Hello? Oh shit, it's still reloading! Oh boy. Better finish reloading before the Santas get here, come on! Do something! Yes, 3, 2, 1, go! What?! It was the- <laughs> It was the tiniest little ball that just rolled out of there. Oh god, I'm gonna die to Santa! Wait, what is this? Are they stuck on my little barrel? Oh god, this guy's getting awfully close! Oh my god, he killed me! <laughs> no way! Oh man, I am so bad at this game. Guys, I apologize, okay? Apparently the cannon is not very powerful. Or maybe I misused this. Let's go ahead and use the Hawacha. So let's go ahead and see if it... Yep, it automatically changed. There we go. But I think we need to move a little bit further back. So let's... Right over here. Alright, we have got a monster size of like a target area. Can I also like aim it somehow? I mean, look at all these arrows. But I don't think I can actually move this forward somehow. I want to be very careful that I don't accidentally fire because this is a one-time thing, okay? You can fire it all and then it takes like ages to reload. So let's wait for those Santas. I know they're gonna come in into my trap, okay? This is my little invisible trap. They don't know what's coming. They're stupid, okay? Yes, that's right, my little Santas. Move forward. Move into my trap. Mwah. Okay, I'm gonna give them five, four, three, two, one. Engage! Here we go! Look at all the arrows! Oh yes, yeah, set them on fire or something! Woohoo! Wait, was that it? Oh my god, we have to abandon the ship! Abandon the ship, let's get out of here! Let's run! <laughs> oh, we can just abandon everything! Okay, wait, I have heavy armor. I know I can kill these, oh my god, there's so many of them! Don't tell me I only killed two of them! What?! No way! Okay, let's go ahead and pick up this Chris Christmas rod. And BAM! That didn't do anything, go! Yes! We killed a guy! Oh, we can still kill them, boys! Here we go! 
Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage though. Oh, this is looking... <laughs> this is nightmare material, okay? I'm sorry guys, this... Oh no, I still died though. Sanda is too strong, alright? So this is what I would consider to be the most impenetrable castle that you can possibly build in this game, okay? There's no gate, there's no entrance, there's no opening. There's literally no escape and no getting in. The only escape is if our little king over here doesn't really want to live anymore and jumps off the edge into an eternal fall. So we're gonna place the red king right over there. I don't really care what this king does, okay? We just want this king to die. So let's go ahead and see what kind of a force we're gonna need in order to break down this monster of a castle. Now I think that the cannons are gonna be a great start. Now I don't want to use any mortars because they can just kind of shoot over. <laughs> Kind of a loophole in the castle, but it's fine. Let's go ahead place a whole bunch of these cannons down These are gonna break down the walls. I am sure But we're also going to need an elephant with a hand cannon of course I mean we've seen how incredibly powerful these guys are So let's go ahead and see if they can breach through this monster of a castle even without being attacked Okay attack the most powerful castle in the game. Here we go Charge forward my men. Well, they're not really my men. Oh my god. What is this? Are you serious? They just walked through it! No way! Oh, this is really laggy though. And it's only a few elephants. Wait, is the game still running? I don't even know if the game's still running. Oh my god, we're watching a PowerPoint presentation again. I don't like this! Oh my god, they completely destroyed my castle! There's nothing left of it! How is that even possible? Alright guys, that's it for another Ancient Warfare 2 video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Project Days 5 video. Yeah.